There's a building material that can keep houses intact during hurricanes, earthquakes, tornadoes, and fires. It's been widely used around the world, but the U.S. lags behind in adopting the construction technique. That's about to change. Housing economists will tell you that 77% of homes built in the United States are at extreme risk for some type of natural disaster. The East Coast is primarily hurricane. The Midwest is tornadoes, which we will also survive. The Rockies and the West are wildfire plus seismic events. We're resistant to all of that. There was a record $300 billion in disaster damages in the U.S. in 2017, with devastating fires in the West and hurricanes in the East. Ken Callagher is the CEO of RSG3D, one company that wants to help. It's bringing a building material known as a 3D cementitious sandwich panel to the masses in the U.S. Each panel consists of fire retardant foam sandwiched between two wire mesh faces. The two faces are connected with reinforcement wires that run through the foam and the whole thing is enveloped in concrete. It's very strong if built properly and can withstand high winds, earthquakes, and even fires. A wood structure will combust almost immediately, and studies show that once a wood structure has four or five percent of the building on fire, it becomes a total loss because there's no stopping the fire. There's no place for a fire in a 3D panel building to start because you've got a concrete exterior and nothing is combustible within the materials. The technology is not new. NASA has been using a version of it to build spacecraft for years because of its strength and former President Carter used the material in the U.S. for rehabilitation efforts decades ago. One of the major push for that technology actually was the adoption of that system by our former President Carter, where he used that in rebuilding some of the damaged building that happens in Florida and other places like Georgia and so forth through his Habitat Charity Foundation. Habitat for Humanity built with the panel back in the early 1990s and survived Hurricane Andrew without a scratch. Carter's use of the sandwich panel drew attention to the technology, but it was not clear at the time how to manufacture it on a large scale. But a company in Austria called EVG cracked the code and created machines to assemble the panels, bringing down the cost of manufacturing. RSG3D is one of a handful of companies using EVG's technology to bring the material to the states for mass production. Now, higher lumber costs, expensive skilled labor, and more demanding building codes are making it an appealing alternative to conventional construction. The reason the product has not been used well in the United States to date is because we have wood. The United States is blessed with multiple forests, and wood was an inexpensive building material up until the last five years. With the new energy code, you know, especially up in the northern states and in, in California, they want net zero houses. You cannot get to a net zero house construction with wood. The panels are already in homes all over the world, but experts say that more education and updated building codes are needed for this to go mainstream in America. The initial cost, if the engineer does not know how to use it, it's going to be expensive. So it's not the materials. It's not the system, it's, it's the familiarity of the engineer of what is this system can do. When used properly, Callagher says the cost of using these panels is the same or slightly cheaper than conventional building methods. We have to change the entire dynamic of how we want to build product in, in the United States, and it's going to have to be this type of technology because it's available, it's effective, it's efficient and it gives you a much superior product at the end of the day. So we're not going to have any other choices. This is where the industry is going. 